Welcome to our weekly video blog to help Christians stand firm in an unpredictable world. The title of today's video blog is Desperate People. As we fast approach the end of days, we have seen a rise in desperate people across the globe, many of them doing the unthinkable. This desperation is caused in large part by rising food costs or food shortages. It's also caused by a lack of employment or underemployment, robbing a family of the needed resources to feed, clothe, and shelter their families. Most will agree that there are levels of desperation where some on a lower level are led to lie, manipulate, bear false witness, and intimidate others to, to get their needed resources. As the desperation level increases, others are led into a life of dishonesty, shoplifting, and even arm robbery to provide for their needs and the needs of their family. While working at a night shift at a hotel during my seminary days, I have vivid memories of being robbed at gunpoint by a very desperate young man. Upon questioning his motive and seeking to change the outcome, I was informed that his family was starving and he felt that he had no other options. Although I was unsuccessful in changing his mind, to this day I believe God gave me the courage to witness his love to a hurting and confused person in the midst of a very dangerous situation. Unfortunately, desperate people don't stop there, but proceed way beyond doing the unthinkable to doing the unconscionable. A recent news article details how some starving people in North Korea have actually eaten their own children, while others have dug up their dead children in order to eat them. What causes desperate people to do such horrific acts is beyond our own sensibilities. I can't help from thinking that such desperate people like this who think that the United States is behind much of their sanctions would have no problem launching an atomic bomb against us. When desperate people and poor nations are scraping for their food, living in tents or dilapidated shelters, drinking polluted or unclean water, and see the fat American and envisions an endless storehouse of food, one wonders what they could be capable of doing if given the chance. One also wonders if our growing aid package to desperate countries is driven not by love, but by fear of the inevitable. Typically, this country deals with desperate countries in one of three ways. To conquer them, impose crippling sanctions, or give them aid with political strings attached. Most all desperate people in this country and others have one thing in common. They have rejected Jesus Christ as the only way to salvation. I can assure you that conquering them, imposing crippling sanctions, or giving them aid with strings attached will not change their heart, solve their problems, or change how they think about us. Simply put, desperate people in this country and in others need Jesus Christ. As desperate times engulf this country, we will see more and more desperate people doing the unthinkable. We must not follow our country's example in dealing with desperate people. On the other hand, we must set them an example of unselfish love by dying to self and giving them the greatest gift of all, the gift of life. To withhold this gift while attempting to fulfill their material needs will keep them in their desperation and dependent upon you for future needs. Social welfare can never solve the problems of desperate people, but only make them more dependent upon the state. Our country cannot solve the problems of desperate people around the world by forcing them to fall in line, by accepting our aid, or being punished for the refusal by increasing their sanctions. Desperate people in every country need Christ. Jesus Christ said, but seek first his kingdom, and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Matthew 7.33 What causes desperate people? They are anxious about many things because they lack basic necessities in life and seek to gain them on their own strength. It may start out with a lower level as already discussed, but in time will escalate to always doing the unthinkable. What does Christ say? Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Follow Christ and do right. All other ways will lead you straight to hell. 
Following Christ through faith will allow him to provide for your every need. Walking in his righteousness would rather have you do without than take from others. What is the promise of Jesus Christ? And all these things necessary for life will be given to you as well. The Bible says, I was young and now I'm old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. Psalm 37, 25. Stand firm on this truth, my dear friends, and don't be overcome by your present difficulties. If you ever feel desperate, my friends, fall on your knees in all prayer, believing that God will provide. Amen? Let me encourage you to secure a copy of my latest book, Stand Firm, Godly Counsel for the Last Days. God bless you, my friends, and remember to stand firm. Music